Hello, my name is Lemon. Hello, my name is Xun Qi Li. Hello, my name is Yu Qi Ru. Hi, my name is Yixi Liu, and uh, we're all se uh, second year master's student here studying electrical engineering at Columbia University. Uh, in this video, we'll introduce to you our project that we did in the uh, BLSI Design Lab uh, courses uh, in spring 2022, taught by Professor Peter Kinget and, uh, and teaching assistant uh, Ray Xu. Uh, our project is going to be the digital clock project. Uh, we will start by a uh, short demo of our functionalities and end the video with a more detailed uh, explanation of our block diagram and the physical design. Uh, for the uh, for the project, uh, we have four uh, different basic functionalities. One has a basic clock function, and we also have a timer and alarm. Uh, the, the last one is going to be the set time, uh, which will all be demonstrated in the video. Okay, so here's a demonstration of our chip uh, uh, soldered on the PCB. Uh, this is the chip that we uh, that we ultimately fabricated as a result of the project. You can see it's in the middle, and the, on top of on the top of the PCB, we have five buttons, uh, and then they all have their uh, each uh, name to it uh, with their functionalities uh, labeled on top of it. Uh, from the top, from left to right, you got reset uh, time plus, which is used for the uh, for setting the time, which mode uh, we are currently in. Uh, the digit switch, which is also used for setting up the time, and then the start button, which is used for starting the alarm or the uh, or the timer. Uh, and then, and then on the left, this is just a lot, a lot of uh, testing points that we design uh, designed for uh, for testing. Uh, after the fabrication, which is, which I won't be using uh, during this uh, during this demonstration, and then at the bottom is our main display is uh, is six seven segment displays from the left to the right. We have two digits for the hour, two digits for the minute, and then two digits for the second. Uh, at the bottom here is uh, we have we have the battery connected to the design, which. Uh, which uh, supplies a three volt uh, to two LDOs. Then the, uh, the output of the of those LDOs provide the uh, the, uh, the the power uh, the voltage supply uh, for the chip, which has a one volt supply and a two point five volt uh, supply. And then at the uh, bottom right corner here, here this is a buzzer, which is used for our alarm function and the, uh, the timer function. Uh, and then, then this switch it controls the main uh, the main power of the of the PCB of the, and of the chip. So so this uh, will be uh, responsible for turning on or turning off the entire design. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the for 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 the for the for this PCB. And then I'll start by showing the uh, the uh, the basic clock functions. Uh, first, we'll turn it on. And then we'll do a reset, so it's resets to zero. And then we'll start. Then the the, uh, the clock function will start. As you can see, it's counting from uh, starting from zero, all the way up. So it's so incrementing one by each second. Let's try the set time function. Because when we reset this clock, it just automatically goes to zero. And let's try to set three ten p.m. So we need to first switch to set time mode and the little dp dot will show which which digit you are currently selecting so you can select to set to 10 minutes and it's 15 10 in 24 hour format and let's start so the clock will start where you get where you set the time to be Let me demo the alarm function. Uh, so, as you can see, I start the time from zero, and let's uh, switch the mode to alarm, and uh, we can switch the time to like thirty seconds, and we test, then we press the start. Now back to see our clock mode. We can see the clock time is twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, and we just need to wait until thirty seconds. Now I start. 
So if we want, if you want to uh, stop the alarming, we need to back to to alarm mode and uh, press the start again, and we stop. Now let me demonstrate the timer function. Mm, the first step is to switch mode to the timer mode. Now we are in the timer mode, and uh, uh, let's say we are setting a sec uh, twenty second timer. Now we switch it to the second digit, then time plus to 20, and hit start. Oh, sorry. It's 20, hit start. Then the timer will come down from 20 every second. And so at zero, it will go, uh, the buzzer will go off.